Inspiration Ministries is committed to serving the least, the last, and the lost. And as a person who's experienced the, um, the dynamic of being one of those people, somebody that's been incarcerated and recognizing that God has poured his awesome grace onto your life, um, when you look around, especially in, in a prison, and you see other men that are struggling or um, looking for answers for their life, you recognize that uh, God poured out the same grace for their lives. Inspiration Ministries has, uh, has the ability and the capability to reflect Christ to a people group that would never see that reflection, that would never see that light, that would never see that hope. Uh, they're typically not a person that's gonna step into a church searching for hope. They're typically not the person that's gonna say, oh, I feel hopeless and I'm full of despair today, so let's, I'll try Jesus today or I'll go knock on the church door. They need a safe place to come and get away from the old way of life, to be surrounded moment by moment, day by day, with um, a new way of living. Recidivism is a big deal because it's so difficult, once you have a criminal record, to get reintroduced to society and equipped to be a productive member of the community. It's hard to even get an opportunity and a chance. And that's what Andy Foster at Inspiration Ministries does. And that builds a community. When somebody experiences a touch of God through his people and then multiplies that in others, it actually can help bring crime rates down and can enhance a community. And I just, I, I just think what Andy is doing here is one of the most powerful things that could ever be done in a community. So where national statistics would tell you that 75 to 80% of the people coming out of prison return back to prison, our recidivism rate for our program graduates is 14%. And so that people that are engaging with our ministry, engaging with our program, their lives are being transformed and it's making a difference. It's hard, I think, for them um, to develop a new support network. Um, so they just, they know what they know. And so it's just really easy, you know, when they get out of jail or prison um, because they get sent back to where they came from is that they just reconnect with everybody that they've already connected with. So we created the Plus One program and the one in the middle of that program is just knowing that Christ Jesus is the one uh, that is gonna help bring restoration and healing in our lives. And, and currently at our farm, at the Plus One farm, we call it, we are housing 18 men. And we recognize that uh, within a group like that, we're always praying for uh, just the increase of camaraderie in that place and creating a culture that is safe and is productive for men. Um, and we have, we have been so blessed to see incredible results, to see men be dads again, uh, see guys take financial responsibility for their lives, um, to see men move into an apartment after completing the program for the first time and owning owning a car for the first time in their entire lives. We've seen men get their driver's license after 22 years. It's, it's really quite incredible. Um, and, and in that time, um, we have seen people come uh, to us from men who have been in prison for decades of their lives, struggled with addiction uh, for decades of, of their lives. And we've seen men come to us who are 25 years old, living in their grandparents' basements that call us and say, I want something different from my life, but I really don't know what steps to take. And, and there might be life controlling issues there or substance use issues there, um, but asking what does it take? And so I feel like we've been able to develop a program that helps them understand um, that there's real hope by connecting with the community and connecting with partners to be able to increase hope in your life. They make sure, you know, education, driver's licenses, you know, things that they don't have, they've never had, and the support to go through it, even when it's like, okay, I just want to give up. I just want to go back and use because this is just too much because living life on life's terms is hard. It's not easy by any means. It's easier for a drug addict to run. I want to go back to what I know. I don't want to feel anything, you know, and getting through the, um, the traumas in their lives that caused them to use drugs is also something that's very hard and that's where Inspirations comes in with the spirituality. And that to me is wonderful. Uh, it's not a scary place in Inspiration Ministries. It's a warm and inviting place. And it, I think it's close to the heart of God. In fact, when you walk in here, whether it's celebrate recovery or to get a smoothie, a coffee, a sandwich, whatever it is, 
I think you sense the Spirit of God at work. There was a vision there that, that helped me realize that as a person who was characterized as the least, the last, and the lost, that God did this for everybody. And why not share the good news with all those people? And where it started in the prison, I had a perspective that I was gonna get out. I wasn't in prison forever. And what an awesome mission to take that same good news outside of those walls and let the whole world know that God sent his only son to die for them so that they may have eternal life and live life abundantly.